Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with Xenron. Hello. Hello, and we're here to, it's survey time is once again hit Master Duel, and this time we can actually write back feedback. Apparently only the Japanese beforehand could write back feedback, so they've been uh, not hearing any of our calls. <laughs> so if you've been nice. wondering, if you've been wondering, hey, how come Maxi wasn't hit? It's because none of the Japanese Turn off players... the voicemail. Turn off the voicemail. Turn off the voicemail. None of the Japanese <laughs> players care about Maxi being a three. None of the Japanese players care about Eva, so that's why. But I'm sure they're going to hear it now. <laughs> Not that we can actually legitimately respond to them. It's pretty funny. I never realized. I was like, oh, I, th I thought it was just like a, a across-the-board problem for everyone. But no, apparently they only asked the Japanese for their opinion. <laughs> so let's go into it. And we'll also this will also be a good excuse to talk about how we're feeling about Master Duel right now. So, Mandatory, are you enjoying dueling? We are currently in a post... Uh, new pack coming out, and so uh, Phoenix Enforcer is now out. Zen, how you feeling? Are you having fun? Uh, I'm having so much fun. Just seeing a hero make everyone hate their lives is like, man, the retribution. I, I feel vindicated. Feel the vindication. I'm also going to say... Everyone I'm... dunking on heroes last week, and then all of a sudden now, all you're doing is mad <laughs> that a hero is at the top. Absolutely. He, he, <laughs> it is... I feel like I was a little bit like, maybe, did you ever use, when we did our duels on The Sim, did you ever use him? Did you ever use Phoenix Enforcer? No. No, okay, so that would explain it, because I was like, well, if Zen never used him, he must not have been that great, because we were playing with, like, full no-ban list, so you could use whatever the hell you wanted. So you never used Was he out in the TCG at the time? We did that? Uh, I think it used OCG cards, so maybe he should have been out there. But we, we weren't set to be able to use OCG cards, remember? Because I couldn't mm. use the Blue Eyes jet when we did uh, Blue Eyes. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Interesting. Uh, so maybe not. We'll have to, I'll have to double check on those videos. We should at some point get back to recording those style too, because I want to try out the new frog deck that's out in Japan <laughs> that apparently is completely dominated all of the tournaments because they made frogs uh, crazy strong with the new archetype they introduced, Spl Spligget or whatever its name is. Starts with an S. Uh, anyway, I never had any experience with him. I just knew what he did. I'm like, he surely can't be that. Like, one called by the grave and he's done. Uh, turns out, drawing a called by a grave when you only can have two in the deck out of 40 cards is extremely difficult. <laughs> and that's also yep. assuming that you have not used it on a a Ash, Blossom, or Maxi at any given point. So you have to be running cards specifically that kind of hurt him. Uh, so when I actually... First of all, I started, I'm like, I wasn't able to get him, but I was like, okay, whatever. Everyone's adding him to the deck. I'm not actually going to do anything. I went against him once, and I said, yeah... This guy's going in the deck. <laughs> there seems like no... I was like, this guy seems too good, and I've been using him, and I've actually been having a lot of fun. Funny enough, having the game automatically stalls when both players have Demon Phoenix Enforcer out on the field at the same time. <laughs> I think that's like my one... It's actually not true, because it actually makes the games a little bit more fun, because it actually feels like both players are trying to think about the, which one can fuck up first. So I've been having fun. So I'm going to click on having fun. I'm here for the... I can now finally say there's a Destiny hero that I really like. If you were to ask me before Phoenix Enforcer came into my life, I would have probably said maybe Diamond Dude because that's a funny name. Diamond Dude is a good name. Diamond Dude is a fantastic name. A, so. lot, a lot of the Destiny heroes have really good names because for some reason they're like based on British superheroes or like British lore. Really? And uh, I guess oh. I guess four kids decided that yeah that's why their field spell is Clock Tower Prison. It's like the fucking Clock Tower. Oh, that makes um, a lot of sense now. I yeah. never realized they were supposed to be. Does that mean that Aster is also supposed to be British? No, no, Edo no, okay. is not British. Uh, okay, it's just perfect. the it's just how elemental heroes are American superheroes. Um, mm. The the Destiny heroes are British ones, and all of their names in Japanese are totally different. None of them are the same. Uh, and the English ones are fucking crazy. Well, okay. So, you know how um, the elemental heroes in Japan In Japanese, yes. Like, um... Whoa, careful there. Or man, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, The Destiny hero version of that is Guy. 
<laughs> so they're all something guy. So Diamond Dude is in fact Diamond Guy? Uh, let me look up Diamond Dude, because some of them are, are funky. Like, uh, Celestial is Divine Guy. It's <laughs> a pretty good day. <laughs> D-Hero Diamond Guy, yep. Yeah, that's a pretty good name too. So that's not that means is that so no, he would that would mean he'd be Destiny guy, destroyer Phoenix Enforcer then. Or is what is his actual Japanese uh, name? Well, let's kind of... let's look up what yeah, let's look up Phoenix Enforcer's actual name cuz he, gonna... Phoenix Enforcer is an elemental hero, not a Destiny hero. Yeah. Oh, he is he's actually legitimate. I thought he was a man. There's so many No, the original I'm... Phoenix Enforcer is uh an elemental hero. Mm, okay, okay. Destiny hero destroy Phoenix guy. <laughs> we should ask a petition. Sign a petition. I'm at the end of here. I'm going to say bring in the original Japanese names for people because that is amazing. There's some great Japanese names out there. Um, but yeah, Phoenix Enforcer. I'm enjoying him. I kind of like that it's basically made it so that any deck as long as you can summon two monsters congratulations you just got a mini buff basically everyone got a buff but maybe elemental heroes <laughs> because phoenix enforcer does not actually fix the problem with elemental heroes he doesn't but he helps yeah he, he is a little bit better <laughs> by virtue of being busted he helps yeah exactly for sure uh do you feel you understand how to duel yes especially with those new they actually added the new tutorial thing so now i fully understand how everything works now what do you think of the background music that plays during duels? I think it's good. I still li I'm still like it. It's the best music to kind of just like put on the background um, when you know you've lost, but your opponent doesn't want to end the game. So you just kind of have to leave it on in the background <laughs> and do other things while they finish their turn, which is what I do. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna let him have his fun. Click, click. Make sure to click off. Turn off the auto thing. Make sure it's off, and just kind of <laughs> let them have fun. Occasionally, check to see if they need me to do something. Because sometimes they run decks where it's like, "Would you like to activate an effect?" I'm like, "Why are you in? I'm, I left the match like a minute ago. Why are you trying to make me play? <laughs> Leave me alone." Um, what do you think of the pacing animations that appear during a duel? Uh, so those new animations, do you think they are the right length for some of them? I feel like for some of them, they just go by really quick and I can't actually see what they are. The ones that... So, some... uh, I like, cro like uh, cross-out designators is crazy fast. Yeah. Um, to the point where, like, if you're not looking at your screen, you'll miss the whole thing. Some of them, like, I think Lightning Storm has a, an appropriately timed animation where, like, yeah. it just goes through and you can see it. Yeah. I think Imperial Order last. Basically, all the ones that have like a dude and they have to summon, except for maybe Solemn Judgment. That one where the old man just goes, ah, <laughs> he just shows up very quickly and stops whatever. Yeah. <laughs> he has the this is the 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 fastest of all of them. But the other one, I think it could be improved just a little bit, just to make it so some of them you can actually see what they are, like Cross Out Dex Designator, for example. But so I'm a I'm gonna put that on like I don't think it's bad. I think they're like the right length because i guess some of them you don't actually want like i don't want a full 20 minute <laughs> sequence whenever someone plays imperial order <laughs> or something like that which is what i think they yeah will probably... I, well because that's the thing with adding animations to things that aren't boss monsters when you put them in staple cards you guarantee they're going to be seen in like every duel oh, which yeah. on one hand fine but then on the other hand like if you make them too long it's going to start getting really intrusive so i th think them being faster is probably a good thing yeah i agree and for yeah 100 percent uh it's especially annoying in a pendulum deck if you are running odd eyes because you can summon the their magician card that has an animation and then you can summon the odd eyes pendulum dragon that has an animation and then you summon them again and the animation plays again <laughs> which is funny enough what we the problem we ran into in um uh in uh legacy of the duelist with odd eyes too remember we kept summoning them over and over and over again and they would play the same 30 second animation loop over and over and over again so good faster is usually better in this case especially with cards that constantly summon themselves what do you think of the dual controls i they seem perfectly fine to me it's it is clicking <laughs> yeah 100 percent. it's just clicking just clicking in perfectly intuitive what please select the mode you play the most it has to be ranked duel <laughs> because uh i don't think i i maybe maybe it depends maybe on this most recent event we'll see how it goes 
I think because people I, actually I mean, have... It has to be ranked duel because that's the mode. Yeah, that's the mode. I think I spend a decent amount of time in solo for training purposes. Like, the, to learn the, the combos of a deck. Like, when I was trying to learn Pendulum Magicians, I would actually go into solo mode because it's easier to play. Like, I, I actually have a... <laughs> No, not to say the people who do this and jump in there who don't know what their cards do. Uh, I'm not saying that you're bad for just jumping into a game or inconsiderate, but I find it inconsiderate if I did it. I don't care if someone else does it to me, but I care if I do it to someone else, if that makes sense. So I have to know a decent amount of what my cards do, and the AI is, works good enough for me to do that to them real quick. So, but yeah, ranked, ranked is the thing. If, if there's someone out here who's just playing solo mode, I would like to talk to you and figure out how you've been able to get new cards. Cause you yeah, need what to... do you even do? Like, you, you must be crazy bored. Exactly, you'd have to be. Optional, what do you think about the dueling and what would you like us to add in future updates? Please refrain from leaving any personal information. So my social security code... Is... <laughs> I would like you to, yeah, to add me into the game. Here's my social. Add me into I, I know i i really have to be careful with what i type because i know someone will actually legitimately look at this and give it back to the to, to konami as feedback so let's see what do i think about the actual dueling aspect of it is there anything uh i don't know if there's actually anything about the dueling itself can you think of anything about the dueling that um you would like to see added in a future update other than the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh has its problems, not really. I mean, tag dueling would be kind of cool. Yeah. Oh. Like yeah. you could, like you could join a duel room with a buddy and then queue together. Like that'd be Actually, pretty cool. That would be fun. I'm gonna put tag dueling and then and unranked duels. Yeah, for the love of God, just the casual mode. I'm begging Please, you. These duel rooms are weird. Just duel add. rooms suck. Just add a fucking casual queue. Duel rooms, blow. Nobody's um, using duel rooms to socialize, dog. It's not happening. Are weird, and I don't... I don't like to socialize. <laughs> socialize. <laughs> so, please. Unranked mode. Mo mode would be sick. <laughs> there you go next yeah i think unranked is probably the thing that most people need at this point <laughs> though to be fair the people who are going to go into unranked are going to go in there with like the actual like big meta decks but at least you can care less because you can just auto surrender and just move on with your life or something uh are you enjoying solo mode uh i wish they released more of those challenges because i like reading about the dangers and stuff but the actual fighting with the dangers uh, what, like, specifically about the new solo mode. Um, I just thought they were okay. I think mo for the most part, they're just kind of test case showcases to say, like, hey, here's some other decks you could potentially run. But then they don't actually use them to full effect. Like, they had, uh, uh, Danger Thunder Dragons, and I'm pretty sure most of the time with Danger Thunder Dragons, you want to run Grass Looks Greener. And so it was weird for them to show that deck, and it's like, eh, it's not the fully showing off of it. But I actually want to see more of the challenge stuff, so I'm gonna put... I'm like somewhere in the, I'm somewhere like here personally, where I do like the solo stuff and I want them to add more solo stuff, but it's not actually hitting the right amount of solo mode. You know what they need to do? They need to add an RPG. <laughs> Maybe that's actually what I want. <laughs> Peak solo mode would be an RPG mode, right? I think we can all agree this, that it's specifically because of the GBA games that if it's not an RPG, it can never truly be 100% fun. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think I'm being perfectly fair here. I think it's perfectly fine for what it is here. If you want it to be perfect, then add, add an RPG mode where I can walk around and talk to people. How is the difficulty of solo mode? Uh, somewhere in the middle. Some of those uh, decks that you have Some to of them use. are hard. The, and they give you yeah. some bullshit decks. Yeah, it like really kind of depends. Absolute trash decks decks sometimes the the little yugi versus big yugi duel for the end of the challenge one has got to be one of the most bullshit duels in the entire history of the game there's actually the danger big deck yugi. <laughs> yeah big yugi <laughs> i tem whatever i call him big yugi um, big yugi huge not dark yugi. yugi big yugi huge yugi he's absolutely this massive yugi is huge mini yugi <laughs> should be the other one 
Um, <laughs> fuck, now you got me distracted by what I was doing. The new Danger deck, actually, funny enough, I got OTK'd by it. Because <laughs> I drew bad, and then they drew with the perfect hand, and because it's dangerous, they were able to discard their entire hand and summon three 3,000 monsters in one turn. <laughs> Jesus. And I just lost. <laughs> it was like, well, I didn't... I, I don't know how to return from this. I drew terribly. They drew amazing. So I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle. It's pretty hard RNG. Except for, again, mini Yugi versus a tall Yugi. Short, uh, short, shorty Yugi versus uh, medium-sized Yugi is probably the hardest for me. Um, but then you have ones with specifically where you got to use the, uh, the Drytrons, and it was the easiest solo mode in the history of the world. Yeah, because you just fucking run roughshod with the Drytrons. Exactly. I like how everyone was like, I hate Drytron, I hope they get banned. And then they were like, hey, do you want to have uh, a solo mode so everyone can learn how to use them? Not only that, it unlocks it at the end. <laughs> if you don't know this, if you go into solo mode, because not, probably not a lot of people go into solo mode, but if you go into the solo mode and you complete something... They unlock the pack so you can get the cards for it. So as long as you never finish the... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you yeah. get the secret pack for it for 24 hours. Yes. So if you just wait for when you have a whole bunch of it, go in there and then boom, you have... Ba you can basically build the full Drytron deck. And funny enough, you can... I, I think Drytrons are definitely the best with it. The new Danger one gives you access to the Kaijus, which is pretty nice if you uh, want some spare kaijus to go into it and dangers can be used in other stuff and like but obviously the drytron one is the baby the biggest one where it's like yeah not only are they teaching people how to use this deck they're just giving they're just saying here here you go and then in the new pack if you pull the bear you get just access to the drytrons as well that's wild fucking yeah. wild super easy to get into the dry it's net they want me to play the drytrons but that's what i'm getting that's the message that's being sent to me directly but I fight back for it for now. I think it's actually the only meta deck outside of Virtual World that I have not actually tried out is Drytrons. Uh, maybe one day I'll walk the dark path. When they announce the Eva ban, I'm actually going to go in there and try it before they go away. Assuming Eva. I am very is. surprised. I don't know. Like Everyone kind of agrees this ban list was pretty much whatever. Like It did nothing, pretty much. Um, it, it was the new cards. But I that still don't think they're going to hit. Yeah, the new cards had a bigger impact. But I still don't think they're going to hit Eva. I don't no, think they will. Not, I don't think they're ever going to. I don't know what happened. Apparently, at some point in Japan, Drytrons aren't a thing anymore. They just... <laughs> I think what's going to happen here is that eventually... People are just going to use so much deck that Drytrons aren't being used. Which is weird, because I feel like all the data says is that Drytrons are... Basically, if you run it, you automatically win. But I actually don't feel like that many people run Drytron for whatever reason. And I think it's because it's not fun. <laughs> That is why I don't. I built the whole deck and I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not think, playing this. This sucks. Yeah, I think the people who just want to climb quickly to Diamond 1 will play Drytron. And the people in tournaments will play Drytron. But the vast majority of people, I just, I don't think they don't actually want to play the deck. And they're well, like, It's just not playing. enjoyable because like, either you go first, you get the whole combo and you're like, aha, I did it. Or, like, you don't, and then the other person gets their negate combo, and then you don't get to play. Like, that's it. That's the whole... That's the Drytron loop. Yeah. It's kind of similar to, I guess, uh, Rongo Midian. Maybe they see Drytron as a gimmick deck, and that's why they don't hit it. Maybe. I feel like Rongo's a lot harder to get out, because, like, you need yes. a lot more specific combo pieces, I feel like, than Drytrons do. Yeah, for sure. Drytrons are just like, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm yeah. fucking going in. I don't care what I got. I can summon one card. And then if you do destroy all their cards, I've seen Drytrons come back with exactly one card because they can have one combo. They have one card starters, and then they can just go into whatever they want. So I yep. don't know. It has to be something in Japan because Eva's still at three in Japan. So I don't know what. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what's going on. Maybe eventually well, down the road they just will phase out. I'm going to be very interested to see, but I'm kind of with you. I don't think they're ever going to hit Eva at any point unless they specifically look at the feedback. And literally, if everyone just put down, please ban Eva, I think they would at least limit it. <laughs> please fucking ban this thing. I'm begging you. Yes. If enough people probably told them about it, I think they would look into it. But I still think there's enough people on the Japan side who don't see Eva as a threat, which is insane to me. Well, it's similar. It's similar to like uh, the whole thing about... Um... Maxi is like Japanese players don't give a fuck. They don't care. 
No. Like, Maxi is not good. And English players fucking hate Maxi. And, like, you can't both be right. And, frankly, I don't know who's right, because I don't care that much about Maxi. I hate Ash Blossom way more than Maxi, personally. Yeah. Um, uh, but Ash Blossom stops Maxi. <laughs> yeah. Ash Blossom fucks you over and stops Maxi. So it's like, I, I don't know. I don't hate Maxi as much as I think most English players do. I think a lot of the, like... Because you see a lot of like the Yu-Gi-Oh YouTubers being like, haha, this fucking game is a joke as long as Max C is allowed. But it's like, dog, there's like a... I, you know how many times I've lost after playing Max C? It's like a crazy amount. Yeah, that's true. I can tell you that on, the, on my hand how many people have auto-surrendered after they drew no cards with Max C. Because the way they see Max C is that I'm about to get crazy advantage because you're just going to... Because I know your deck. You're going to You're going you're gonna you're gonna to play your whole deck, yeah. Like like me. You're going to play your whole deck like me. And then when you don't, they go like, well, I guess I lose. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm starting with one less hand. I misplayed my Max C. I don't know what's going on. And then they quit. So I don't know. Maybe it's something that it's like that it's burned into the TCG. And I also agree with some of the ban list stuff. There's definitely no pleasing everyone. But people will get on here saying, like, I can't believe Japan is doing this. And then there will be like, uh, our ban list sucks too. But then it's like, well, if yours sucks, why do you want it more like yours? <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't know. I, to be fair, as, even when I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh seriously, the ban list was always a point of contention among everyone because I really feel like most people just want to ban the cards that they don't play because they don't want to play. That's exactly them. what it is. They they want to ban the shit that bothers them. Yeah. Like, well, because when it comes to to any kind of balance discussion, because this happens in fighting games too. Not that fighting games ban stuff that often. Um, like Smash will ban stuff, but most fighting games don't ban things. But when it comes to like tiering and stuff, you, you always find people who they'll play something and whatever it is they play loses to this thing. And their immediate response is that thing's too good. And so like, sometimes it's true. But I, I think that you're never going to get people who actually, like, will come together and agree on what that thing is. You know? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of people really mad that um, Red Eye's Dragoon is not legal. Yeah. Um, but then those exact same people are the ones who are like, why the fuck does Maxi exist? And it's like, <laughs> I don't know what you want. It feels like you're never going to be satisfied because you're not happy with what isn't banned. You're not happy with what is banned. And I feel like everyone's just going to curate like a different personal pet peeve list of cards they want gone. And if those cards don't get hit, they're just going to be upset about it. And also now that uh, Demon For Enforcer is out, Demon Enforcer, his name changes every time. Phoenix Enforcer is out every now. Single Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Yes. Say now it with me now. <laughs> Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. <laughs> there uh, it is. Now that he's out and I've seen how easy it is to summon him, I don't want Dragoon in the game anymore. <laughs> Yeah, imagine I, having something as easy to summon as Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, but also it's fucking Dragoon. And it's a uh, it's a crazy Omni Negate that stays gains a thousand, and and it has like four K base attack already. Yeah, no, no, thank you, <laughs> no, thank you on that one. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of it is just trying to look and find the right thing, like skill drain is always going to be a huge contention like for example they hit uh eldritch and i actually think eldritch is a little bit easier to play against with the, now them only having one of that card that removes stuff from it uh the problem is is that the actual main problem with Eld eldritch is the fact that they can open uh in their starting hand they can put two face downs and they can put down skill drain and they can put down imperial order and they win because <laughs> uh -huh. there's nothing i can do <laughs> the, the, what yeah, am i gonna play that's like that's two thirds of your entire deck, and nobody really runs trap cards. So it's like, well, yeah. even even when I was fucked. even with playing with uh, specific effects that go to the graveyard, I could only take down like one of those cards, and then I'm still like fucked for the rest of the turn. It's like, well, what? I need both of these to play, and you've removed two of these from my deck, and then it's now it's just a stall game, and that's totally what it is. The only thing I can do is quickly beat down. So the ban list will always be kind of a point of contention for anything so i don't know what to do with that one but anyway yeah let's it's go just back. you're never gonna agree you know no, and it is what gonna, it is no you can just try your best and kind of just roll with the punches and don't take it i think too seriously unless you're in a tournament setting and i guess money's on the line then i guess it's your job to feel a little bit serious about that but i think we're not really in that <laughs> department 
Joe Schmo on 37th Street shouldn't give this much this much of a shit about Maxi not being banned. Yeah, I mean, at some some point, it, you're right about that. Like, <laughs> take it yeah. easy. Just, just take take it easy, guy. I can understand the tournament guy. He has actual legitimately money on this. You yeah, the tournament so guy is the only one I really give a shit about. Not not because like oh, only tournament players are valid. But it's like only he has something to lose. You yeah, know what he, I mean? Like, he's losing money if, potentially. Yeah. If if you're coming to me and you're like, I want to spam the ranked ladder, but it's very annoying to do so while this card exists. My response would be, I don't fucking care. Like whatever. <laughs> yeah, Fuck I, don't, you. I, don't I don't care. I don't care. Like. I just, I simply can't care. <laughs> it's the the, the yeah. land of the day here, but it's a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I literally um, cannot give a shit. Yeah, but for the people who's actually legitimately making money off of it, I, not to say that they should have full carte blanche over what should be on the ban list, because boy, that would be an unfun ban list. But they, I at least understand where they're coming from. I, yeah, I, I don't think that like they should have more control over it or anything. I mm -hmm. just think I I'm willing to be understanding to their complaints. Yes. I'm not saying I'll listen to their complaints because I don't fucking care still. Yeah, yes. <laughs> like, I, I can at least understand. But I will let them whine. I'll put it that way. You yeah. you complain as much as you want, bro. I feel yeah. you. But if you're coming to me and you're being like, Ugh, the ranked ladder is miserable, I'm like, dog, play something else. <laughs> play anything else. Or just do what I do and auto surrender and move on to the next game. Yeah. Uh, you enjoying? Do I'm gonna put in the middle ones in here. We'll just quickly go for the solo mode stuff because I just realized we talked about the ban list on the stuff of regarding solo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Actually, I'm gonna put that because I just talked about grass looking and was better. What do you think of the solo mode stories? I actually like the solo mode stories because I think it's actually kind of fun that they have these crazy stories for these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I just need them to actually get to the important ones, aka the Lost Dog Marin. I need them to have where's his solo mode. <laughs> I need. The story vote for his lore. Uh, yes. Uh, tell us what you think about the solo mode. You may select multiple answers. I enjoyed reading the stories. Uh, I played because I want to earn rewards. It's actually really, really funny that the jackalope became a mate, and I was like, oh, that's a shame because Moki Moki just got fixed on the PC, and I already replaced them. <laughs> uh, I don't have Moki Moki yet, but as soon as I get him, yeah, uh, he's going to be mine for a long time. Purely because, have you watched Yu-Gi-Oh! GX at all? Yes, I have watched a little bit of it, yeah. Uh, there's have you seen Moki the Moki Moki episode? I think so. Yes, I remember. I don't remember who used it's, them, but I definitely. It's a remember. whole. It's it's just a random filler character, mm -hmm. and he is like um, notorious because it's impossible to like Being maintain with. your duelist spirit while he's around because he's so chill. Like his whole thing is that his vibe is crazy, and he plays Moki Moki, and he sounds like a like a surfer boy. He's like, oh, I'm summoning Moki Moki, bro. He's like a stoner. It's <laughs> some of the finest viewing I have ever seen of anything. That's he's good. just, he's just constantly like, oh yeah, I'm gonna flip my Moki Moki into attack mode, bro. <laughs> and he just duels Jaden. Man, there is a part of me because people, just, uh, some <laughs> have been asking like, hey, when you hit episode 50 of uh, Gintama, are you going to continue on? It was like, we'll see when we get there. And for the most part, I feel like we probably will continue, but there is a part of me that really just wants to go into Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Bro, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is fucking crazy. There's an entire episode of gym class because for some reason they have PE at Duel Academy. Of course. And Set up uh, this, like, this, this tennis Chad wants to go out with Alexis. And... Uh, he thinks that Alexis likes Jaden, which she does, even though Jaden's a dumbass and he's like an anime boy, so he's oblivious to romance. Yeah. And uh, so so Tennis Chad challenges Jaden to a duel, and his deck is tennis themed. Oh, that's only and they yes, have a, I remember this. Yes, they have a tennis themed duel over Alexis's heart that Jaden does not know what's going on. And isn't he also, like, using, like, because in tennis there's love, so isn't he also really, like, going deep on the love stuff? And it's just like, and then Jane's just kind of like, well, whatever, I summon Versita drinks in attack mode. Yes. <laughs> yes. Jane's like, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, so I'm doing my thing. Women, you must be talking about elements of hero Versita drinks. <laughs> You need a wingman? I got one for you right here. Elements of Hero Flame Wingman. It's it's funny that I think Flame Wingman's name is still Flame Wingman in Japanese. Oh, that's because. But that's the other one. ones are not. 
Because <laughs> that name is fucking perfect. English like, for Sinatrix said, in Japanese is Burst Lady. Oh, really? Burst Lady? It's, so yes. English made the point of putting the combination of Burst and Dominatrix together? <laughs> yes. English, the four kids, for some reason, they censored her card art because her titties are crazy in her Japanese art. Yeah, they, they, they are. They covered her up. They, they covered her up, but then they gave her a sex name. I no idea why. It has to be like there had to be like some super heavy like censorship guy like oh what is this dominatrix or Sinatrix more like it cover those boobs up and release it <laughs> onto the... uh, yeah like cause you'll see some people that are like oh it's not dominatrix it's burst matrix and it's like shut the fuck up burst matrix <laughs> yeah okay. shut the fuck up it's clearly meant to be a dominatrix reference shut up okay. idiot let's go with that now finally we'll talk about rank duels uh, I actually got to play, I think I'm having fun with Ranked Duels because I actually think Phoenix Enforcer is mixing stuff up where I feel like most decks were kind of autopilot before then. And I feel like you're starting to see some of the super minor hits. Like, for example, um, Tri Brigade's still extremely strong, can still easily win. But now that they only have two of that guy for their combo plays, they can in essence basically, you used to have to basically endure three turns of their bullshit. Now you only have to really endure two turns. Uh, because that's all they really have. And then after that, it's kind of like, well, you're out of resources because Tri Brigade expects to win by turn two. <laughs> so now it's a game of I need to be able to beat you. And I think Phoenix Enforcer is actually a very good uh, counter to them, funny enough, because they have to activate their dude's effect first when they summon the Shugaroth, or if, is that his name? The the Link 4 guy? Shugaroth? Uh, the Tri Brigade one? Yeah. It's, ah, fuck. Shuggy? Shiggy? Everyone's uh, favorite villain? uh, Sh Shurag. 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 Shurag, the ominous omen. So they have to activate Shurag um, to banish. But once they activate it, you can then activate uh, Phoenix Enforcer. Uh, get rid of him, get rid of one of their cards. And if that was your only card on the field, they then have to banish one of their cards. <laughs> because he's it's not optional once you select the effect. So if you only had a Phoenix Enforcer on the field when you activated it, then they actively fucked themselves over, which is kind of amazing. Yeah, because then, yeah, you just Phoenix Enforcer in response. Yeah, it's pretty great. So, uh, the yeah, only thing... Phoenix Enforcer is fucking crazy. Yeah, I think <laughs> so he's, good. He's so good. I like what the kind of the what they got going. So I think I'm having the most fun right here. That I'm also gonna get, I guess a lot of people are because all the dudes in Gold Rank who hit Platinum beforehand have woken up, and now there's just a shit ton of meta decks in Gold. <laughs> leaving yeah so i figured at this point i may as well get the hell out of here and start making my way to diamond if everyone's waking up <laughs> yeah if you can't have fun anymore you might as well get there <laughs> exactly yeah. uh, are you satisfied with the rewards for rank duels i think i'm somewhere in uh, funny enough i think the events are better for rewards now because the events are way better for rewards than ranked is especially Summer. because ranked ranked what really what they need to do is if you're not going to put everyone back at the beginning of ranked every season, because that sucks, mm -hmm. is yeah. you need to give them the gems they would have gotten for ranking up to wherever you leave them. So if you kick them out of diamond back to like gold five, you need to give them the rank up gems from baby mode. What is it? Rookie? Is that the first yeah, one? Yeah, rookie. Um, from rookie one up to gold five. You need to give them the gems they would have earned for that. Because otherwise, what's the point of ranking up? Like you actively fuck yourself over. Exactly. So I'm currently just at the events themselves, like the ones that give 4,000 and they give them in a quick burst. I think those are great, but the current rank, there's not really that much <laughs> reward. In there's almost up. no reward to it. Zero. You, the first time you get to diamond, or oh, I guess it used to be platinum, but now it's diamond. Mm -hmm. uh, the rewards are good because you get all of them. But then after that, every time they rank you down, you miss out on like a shitload of gems. Yeah, you do. You do. Uh, do you find the menu screen? Yeah, that's easy. What do you think of the time limit link for PvP duels? Somewhere in the middle. Probably going... It kind of depends, because most games... I'm going to put it in the middle, because some games end in, like, 30 seconds, and then some other ones can go 30 minutes. I think if you're playing against the two right archetypes, it can go for two hours. So I'm going to put yeah, it somewhere in the Yeah, if you're, middle. like, really fucking each other over. <laughs> yeah, if you're going a real back and forth, for sure. Tell us what you think about ranked duels. You may select multiple options. I play because I think dueling is fun. No, I hate dueling. I play for winning, obviously. No, I, I like having fun. I love battling it out with strong players. I think so. I, I wish there was an addendum that said except dry drops. <laughs> <laughs> 
I play because I want to earn rewards. I enjoy battling others to climb up ranks. I don't know how to win duels. That's just in general, yes. I don't know how to win duels, but I'm not going to put it for you. <laughs> I cannot win. Nope. Optional, what do you think about ranked duels and what would you like to see in future updates? I think that thing you mentioned is basically it. There needs to, there needs to be more rewards because ranking up isn't worth it. What were you saying specifically? Because I like the way you said it for like what what they should do. I, you should basically get actual well, okay, so, gems at the end of seasons, right? Basically. So the way it should work is because you know how every time you rank up, you get gems for moving up, right? So like when you go from gold four to gold five, you get like a hundred gems, mm -hmm. and that happens all the way. So that happens every single time you rank up from rookie whatever to all the way up to diamond one. But then at the end of the season, they move you back from diamond to wherever. I don't know if it's going to be platinum one or gold one or whatever they're going to put you back in or like gold five or something like that. But mm. because you're starting there, you're blocked off from being able to get the rank up gems from any rank that is earlier than the one that it leaves you at. So like if it leaves you at gold one, you can't get the gems you would normally be able to get from ranking up between rookie and gold. So what they need to do is just treat it at the beginning of the season as if you had cleared all of those ranks already and just give you those prizes in a bulk batch. So like if there's a thousand gems between rookie one and where you're deranked to, they should just give you all 1,000 in one go. Yeah, I think they'll get that. Does that make sense? Am I explaining yes, that? Yes, very yes. Like? <laughs> okay. I think, so. I think we'll be good here. Do you like the deck editor? I like having a fun editing decks. So I'm just going to click I'm having fun. I, so, okay, I the thing is, I, I like making decks, but I think the deck editor is kind of clunky. I think uh, it yes, could be better. I, I wanna, uh, okay, I'm going to put it... So, um, I like the deck... Um, do you find the deck editor e screen easy to understand and use? This one was probably the more accurate. I think that would probably be like here. I still think it's weird that they don't have a button that just shows you your collection. Because a lot of times I just want to look at the cards and nothing else. Also, it's like the least shareable deck editor in the world. Yeah. You you can't you can't post it any anywhere. Like it's impossible. Yeah. The only way you can do it is by recording it and clicking through the cards one at a time. Like it's a fucking nightmare. I put on the you the rarity because at least people can go like, okay, I just need to look for a card of that specific rarity. And then they'll go there. I enjoy I enjoy pursuing winning decks. What does that mean? <laughs> I enjoy the pursuit of the hunt of making a winning deck. <laughs> I assume it means that you like building meta decks, not just for fun. All right, I like both kinds to be honest. It just so happens all the decks I want to have fun with are meta decks. Uh. I can't get the card. That's accurate. I want there to be an option for you to test out. I think solo mode should let you test out decks when you don't have all the cards in it. Because a lot of the time... Oh, like build a... Game. Just build whatever you want from yeah. a collection of all the cards in the game? Because I want to... Cool. Yeah, I, wanna, I want Protoss for my Sword Soul deck, but I actually don't know how it would function with it. And I don't want to Yeah, and you craft... don't want to spend the gems, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to just craft... Or the crafting you... mats, yeah. Yeah, exactly, and do all that. And with, with for a card, I don't even know if I'm going to use or not. Um, or really have any fun using, I guess, is another way to also say it. So I think solo mode should let you just use any deck, and it's okay because it's solo mode. Who cares? But, uh, I don't know. Or there needs to at least be a testing area or something. Something like that I would be fine with. If they don't want to do solo because it's tied to rewards, then I would say, like, hey, maybe if you beat it with a deck that... Maybe you can only do that option after you've already beaten the stage. So they can do it. So, like, if you want to get the solo rewards for legitimately doing it, then you have to do what card you have. But once you beat the stage, who cares, right? Um, the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to test out a deck, so... Uh... No, I guess I'm going to click this because sometimes I don't know which cards I need to build. The, looking at Sword Soul, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I didn't know until I started using it. I'm like, okay, I need more of this guy in the deck. Deck slots are not enough. Give more deck slots. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, that desperately. Rolls. All right, so let's see. Deck editor. So for the deck editor, the deck editor needs to be better. 
uh, no no more statements. How would we improve the deck editor? Just giving it like uh hmm. so damn it you had so much things to say here now i can't know how to type into actual words of what i want so let me see so 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 this is also my writing process if you've ever wondered how i write scripts is i just type one word over and over again until the words come to me <laughs> <laughs> so like uh, fucking birth exactly until the 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 inspiration just bursts form from me so cards are hard to see when sharing a deck that that's not a period that needs to be made more clear or give us a better sharing option i don't know when i'm gonna hit that 500 word count but we'll see if i hit that 500 word count we're about to delete some of these periods <laughs> <laughs> punctuation's about to go out the fucking door um uh a way to view cards without having to make a deck would be nice a way to use cards you don't you don't man what is going on with my hands today they're not working with me you don't own would also be cool putting in the extra o's in there for the cool uh for the card crafting system uh oh i know give us a way to craft higher uh, higher foil costs is that what they're called higher foil rarities oh yeah the uh like the gloss yes way to yeah, craft cool. glossy cards glossy and whatever the other one's called glossy slash royal finish royal royal finish that's what it is yeah royal finish Cards. It is kind of dumb. You can't do that. I don't care if you make it a bunch. Like I, I would yeah. craft so many royal ends and R's like crazy. Also, they should also add royal finish and slash R's, please. Oh, are I there really, not any? No, there's not because if you look at the rates of it, because they're in packs, only SR and R and URs have them, which I learned after I tried to get a royal finish of Skull Servant. And what did you far? Did you roll like a million? <laughs> yeah, I rolled a lot of them. I did it like in front of my brother, and I was only able to get one glossy. And now that the gloss has a new shine to it, a lot of the glossy cards look better. So I wanted a deck with three Skull Servant glosses because I got my priority straight. Um, <laughs> so it, a way to make that easier would be better. I mean, that's really it for a card crafting system. Yeah, well, it's weird that you can only craft three at a time. Like, it should just let you yeah, craft. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it is I understand weird. being like we don't want someone to fuck themselves over, but also like just don't be fucking stupid. Yeah. Next, do you understand? Or make it like a toggle. Work? Make it something you can turn off. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Are the dual pass reward normal rewards mode? The normal rewards. Yeah. Is it fair to say motive? Am I specifically dueling for the dual pass rewards? Eh. I don't know on this. Uh, one. For Mo I'm I'm dueling for Moki Moki, bro. I'm, yeah, I know that's, that, that's, that's what I'm the, here for. That's the gold reward. Yes, that motivates me. Oh, that's the regular pass. Yeah, no, no, the regular pass sucks. No, haven't purchased. Um, please add more normal rewards. It's dumb that it ends at fifty. At least give us something man come on <laughs> come on bro come on bro do me a solid on this <laughs> I, I really need sr slash ur gems these decks are expensive <laughs> and i hit level 100 10 days in <laughs> 10 days in of like of 40 left to go right <laughs> yeah they're they're up for a long time on one hand it's nice because like you don't yeah. have to urgently spam ranks but at the same time after it's like, damn. level 100 <laughs> maybe add some like i don't i don't think they should add i don't think the level 100 thing should be if anything they should add like 
because they do this in like for example magic the gathering arena which is the one i know more so which is actually kind of a pain in the ass to it's kind of a pain in the ass to grind their um their battle pass and i like the Yu Gi Oh. it's super easy the thing is is i just want something more after level 100 maybe add yeah. some more gems not much man five is acceptable if you want to be on the cheap on this <laughs> i think that's fair Someone's going to read that. Good luck to whoever has to read it and <laughs> <laughs> give it to the people higher up. Do missions motivate you to play the game? Uh, yes, they do. No, kind of. Uh, that, except they motivate me because I need to be able to get these gems. And then there's occasionally fucking those terrible missions where... Okay, now I can actually finally fucking give out... Ah, oh, how dare you! They didn't include... <laughs> a, ask us anything about this. I was about to fucking have a moan about their extremely shitty the attack five creatures to get 40 gems or directly attack for 16,000 points of damage um i'm just gonna click yes uh i'm gonna go here i think they could go to 50 i think 40 is a weird stopping off point i think they should all be 50 across the board what do you That's think fair. of the dual rooms controls they uh, suck dual rooms suck no one uses dual rooms at the moment what do you think of the shock you should controls? just also be able to just add What's like it? click a friend and just say i want to duel and it should just do it it should why do you have to make a fucking duel room i feel it's a little clumsy there you go uh because uh it fucking blows is not an option tell us what you think about the copy deck <laughs> feature that allows you to yeah copy. i love how this is completely off topic well not uh -huh. really off topic but a different thing it's funny to me how like the negative ones are always like ah, it's a little weird <laughs> There's no That's option true. for, like, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah, there never is, because the, the, the people who the people who go, do the surveys, they know what the people are angry about. The difference is that they have to give it to this, in this case, Konami, in a way that won't make them cry. Yeah, in a way that won't make Konami be like, well, fuck them then. Yeah, we have to spare their feelings, because if you use too much harsh language, people will give it to you. And then they'll they'll get angry at you because they're like, how dare they say that about us? It's like, motherfucker, you asked. <laughs> so why are you? <laughs> My brother in Christ, you posted the survey. <laughs> My brother in Christ, you asked. It's true. Um, <laughs> I have copy decks and rank duels. Yes, I have. I've looked at occasional decks and gone like, damn, that looks good. And I've taken them down for further examination for later. For, for science. Yeah, for science, exactly. Uh, I have edited copy decks. There you go. I think that's fair. Overall satisfaction with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I would say I'm, I'm current level satisfied right now. Stuff to be improved for sure, but um, doing fine for now. I don't I don't know if I would call myself satisfied. I'm content. Content? I yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm content. I'm like, yeah, it's all right. Um, it's yeah. not my favorite game. I don't play it super hard, but uh, I'm not like angry either. I'm not uh, it's just yet. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm not at the point where, because I feel like there needs to be the exact right archetype for me to kind of go super ham into it, but I definitely play a decent amount. I have my fun, I edit my decks, and I am good, and I'm like, yeah, that's good enough. I'm not, <laughs> I guess to say the answer is, is that I'm satisfied enough that when I finish a duel, I'm happy and I stop playing, but I'm not so satisfied that I play the game a whole bunch and I realize all the stuff that's still there is that is that a weird thing to say but basically like i'm happy enough to be eating the portion that i have and it's not so super good that i eat more of it and i go like oh wait actually now i've eaten way more of it i realize that there's something wrong with it i'm just at the level where i'm like yeah let's go Yu Gi Oh. i think that's good enough please tell us which features you would like to see in the future updates uh please bring in those damn split cards so i can put my frogs in <laughs> so i can finally use totally awesome <laughs> please please i'm begging you man you know how that hard it is you posted of like the the biblical angel <laughs> pasted yeah. over with totally awesome be not it's afraid. so funny <laughs> yeah be not afraid my child it's be just totally afraid. awesome it's i love it I, the second i saw that he was making a comeback i was like it's time i could post this again 
I get, I badly want those OCG cards to come over as soon as possible so I can use my boy before he gets nuked out of the sky. I think they might finally hit Ronin Toten. Or maybe maybe the meta will change where more people will start running DD Crow and stuff like that. Because honestly, the the way you stop it is that you if you remove from the game Ronin Toten, you've effectively killed Toads. <laughs> He's so important to the deck. There's a fucking Toad deck. Oh, it's not only that, it's like I think a. Let me let me check actually. Can let me see if I can quickly look up Rone. Uh, because it's like some crazy fucking number. How many people are playing this deck? Uh, with fifty two point one percent, Splite Frogs <laughs> are number one. Jesus. Yeah, if you want to know the full breakdown, Splite is at 52% of those 114 Splites. 108 of them are the Totally Awesome combo. Three of them are Adventure Splite. Two of them are Evil Twin Splite. And one of them is Grass Looks Greener Splite. Uh, the other is 24.7%. .7%, and all the other decks, uh, Flutal Wanderers, Eldritch, Branded Despia, Exosister, are at... 3% and except for Excess Sister, which is at 4%. And then the closest one that comes to being as big as, I guess, being bigger than the others is Terror Elements at 8.7%. But for the most part, people are just running Splite uh, because it's fucking insane. That's fucking wild. Yeah, it turns out if you release an XYZ card, that can be XYZ summoned with a link, uh, with a, with a rank two link monster, you're going to run into a lot of problems. <laughs> Because Kriston Healthy Frybrax exists. <laughs> so who <he> Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck they were thinking of, but whatever the whatever that the, whatever they're thinking of, I need them to put it in Master Duel before they start ruining the deck. I I don't want uh, I don't want I want it at full crazy. I don't want it at uh, nerfed in any way or form. But so I, that's what I want. I want them to quickly put out these OCG cards as quickly as possible. Uh, let me see. Improve deck editing functions, expanding solo mode. It'd be kind of cool to host tournaments with exclusive forbidden limit list, actually. Expanding yeah, I think that would be cool. Like the ability to enforce it on your own without having to like yeah make an external thing. Yes. Okay, now I can actually give up. What would you like to add in future updates? Um, please add. Splite, so I can. Oh wait, I know what. Unlimit, totally <laughs> awesome to three, please. <laughs> there you go. Because he's currently limited to one <laughs> in Master Duel. I need the two unlimit, totally awesome to three, please. And we are done here. So, oh, and I got my fifty gems. Thank you very much. And that's a survey, everyone. Thank you very much for. Seeing this basically state of the current Master Duel video. It ended up being way longer than I thought it was, but I was just kind of having fun talking about Master Duel, to be honest. It's nice to do these every once in a while to see how things are going. I think at this point they release a survey once a month, right? I think so. Yeah. Something like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. But we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. We'll see you guys next time. I guess I gotta go play Sonic and Knuckles now, huh? No running from it anymore? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no. you, can't, you can't hide anymore. <laughs> oh well, see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> or we could always play Sonic 3D Blast instead. No, never mind. Sonic and Knuckles. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>